Hi, hello. I welcome you for the cyber forensics demonstration on uh, investigating a case using access data forensic toolkit that is FTK. This is a very very important I mean uh, tool for a forensic investigator. This FTK is a computer forensic software used by government agencies and law enforcement for digital investigations. See, as a forensics expert, you should know how to use this FTK tool that assists in computer forensics to perform various tasks such as acquiring, preserving, analyzing and presenting the evidence. So, the objective of this exercise is to help and understand the use of access data FTK to investigate a case. Okay, this FTK also explains you the process evidence, filter items, view the deleted items, search for a file, create a bookmark, export files and generate a report. Okay, you can download this FTK from accessdata.com. Okay, so I can even uh, show you this is the home page where you can products and services you can download a demo version from this access data. Okay, so forensic toolkits, computer forensic software that can be used to acquire, preserve, analyze and present computer evidence. So FTK presents computer evidence by creating a case report and log uh, to document the evidence of the investigation results. This uses the report wizard to create and modify reports. In the report, you can add bookmarks, okay, and uh, customize graphic references, select file listings, and include supplementary files and case log. You can also export the files, I mean, the selected files with the report, such as bookmark files and flag graphics, so that it is available with the report. And the report can be accessed even by the browser because this is in HTML format. Okay, let me straight away go ahead with uh, installing this FTK. So here this is the access data FTK once you explore this. So I'm going to install this. This uh, the options are very simple. Use all the default options. Okay, the installer will place in so and so. You need to accept this license. So this is a demo version again I say. So there will be some kind of restrictions. Yeah, finish. So this is uh, the installation is done. Okay, so you need to basically run this FTK in uh, like uh, what you call as the administrator mode in case if you are running from the icon. So this is a demo version. In this case, no, I don't want to see. Thank you for evaluating. This is a demonstration version of FTK. The following limitation a maximum of 5000 file items can be analyzed. Suppose if your file is having more than 5000, then you need to buy a full version. Okay, so I am pressing OK. So, in our case, uh, I will start with a new case, or you can open an existing case, preview evidence, and go directly working in a program. So before running a case, I have already, I mean, the data which can be accessed. See, this is the image. See, this image in my earlier, uh, what you call as the uh, demos, I have demonstrations, I have shown you how you can take an image in DD format. Uh, so please take that, that is mandatory to open, uh, to, uh, to start a new case. So here I am starting a new case. So the investigator name is, so I can they say is Anand. Uh, my case number is 301, I can say case name, so I can give case name, investigation, uh, investigation, okay, 001, so I can, uh, so the same path also will take care, I can store this investigation in my folders like on desktop, okay, I can uh, keep it on desktop or in forensic folder, so the folder will be created. So you can see this case path and of course the case folder investigation 001. So this if you want you can give it as an optional case description. So next is go next. So as in C examiner name. So even though this is optional if it is fair enough to provide the information. If you are really producing a case of all this information the email id and the comments and the phone number you can give. Okay, so the other thing case log options, you can give all these things as default. These are all default. 
so here also you can select this HTML file listing data and the registry reports additionally so process to perform and then uh, okay you can uh, still leave all these things also default include all items file stack free space kff ignorable and uh, okay leave it file start uh, status creation so and so say next and now okay this also we can uh, leave it in default see this uh, either either oil streams okay so add evidence we need to add the evidence as mentioned yes we need to give the disk dump so here acquired image of the drive or a local drive or contains contents of the folder or individual file so here i can give acquired image of a drive load this image in my e drive tools so here i have uh, test raw image dd okay so i'm giving this image and identification number i can give some identification number okay and also the time zone so i can uh, give this chicago time zone and say okay if you want optional comment you can give so yeah now this image is added just say next you say next so this is the summary of uh, the new case which is set up now the files will be created so finish so it will take uh, some amount of time by creating all the it is it is going to analyze all the files in the test raw image.dd remember only 5000 files can be analyzed in the demo version okay so let it take a little bit long time so in this uh, uh, processing uh, the system is reading and it is going to uh, understand what are all the jpg files pdf files and it will short out each and every information and create a case so simultaneously you can see here in this uh, the case 001 is getting created here investigation 001 so all the files necessary files are getting generated So once the case file is getting created, the carving also happens. So the case file is getting almost uh, generated. So it's carving all different type of files, JPG, PDF, EML, all major extensions it's carving. okay so now this uh, file uh, i mean evidence has been created uh, you can go through this investigation folder the uh, total size roughly it has generated something like 137 b so this is the case investigation report you can even uh, this ftk file this file you can load this one uh, if you want to go through manual later till later stage okay so now let us explore uh, let us explore uh, the the kind of see, see this is all the evidence which has been i can open uh, this file open case and say investigation so the same thing happens here okay so here you can see the total file items is 1990 you can view all the files of uh, 1990 files so any files like this uh, this indicates these are all the deleted files you, this uh, file uh, you can see this is the preview this is the preview and uh, this is the file list pane okay so you can even uh, go through the deleted files you can see this these are all the deleted files from the image which is there you can see duplicate items also arrow okay this is also same and this is also same you can see this so here these are all duplicate items OLE means object linked embedded sub items which are linked to a files okay so these are the images which are there okay and you see the documents there are three documents which are there in html you can see and you can see the graphics and the png files which are there oh, there are about 1066 uh, files which are there you can see computer
maybe see here we have multimedia files which are there i mean mp3 files etc all these files eml files slack free files Please, these are a free space means uh, from the disk what are all the uh, areas which is uh, it's also representing in hexadecimal which is free which is free not been used at all so drive free space i mean that once the files are deleted the free space is available uh, which new which can be written across so this is again about the slots which are there and this is the hex dump of all this uh, kind of thing now let me move ahead with the next tab which is called as the explore you can see here in this explore you have this uh, tree format and of course you can uh, select any of this uh, in set of images and uh, uh, this is in hex which is available uh, in hex format and you can uh, this is a preview pane this is a preview pane okay so once you click any file you can uh, go with a preview okay so any you can have um, all the it has already indexed more or less set of images okay right so now i'll move ahead with the graphics you can see this graphics pane uh, in this you can uh, set of images it is in an organized i mean it is tiled okay so all the graphic images are displayed here okay uh, you can even uh, search basically here i'll say search uh, arrow okay and uh, you can say add there are nine hits with four files okay you can select view item results all okay so here you can see uh, the four items are there these are kind of arrows png files which are there okay so uh, okay now you can even yeah in this uh, once you saw this uh, you can even uh, go and see this particular one expand and go with this mark you can uh, go ahead with uh, okay and even we can do a live search same thing i mean what we can do is arrow and say add okay so here which is there and say search so it is searching the entire uh, files of 1990 jpg files so once the search completes it will be displaying at the pane right, at the bottom okay you can see view results search performed you can see all this uh, these are all the results which are there uh, which are been uh, you can select whatever the things which are there i mean you can select you can even expand and see the results you can see the results of all these things okay once the search is done optionally you can do a bookmark by creating a bookmark on this bookmark name is maybe I can say uh, investigation one something like that and a comment alternative I mean optional uh, and uh, you can say include in this report export okay files and say okay uh, so at any point of time in this bookmark tab you can go to this particular uh, I mean uh, uh, investigation one mark tab okay right so now let me move ahead uh, with uh, what we call as export files so export files all uh, you can search, select this all currently listed files which are there include email attachments as you need and say okay so it has exported all these 21 files to your investigation folder into export this is how you preserve the evidence preserve the evidence so in this export you see all the files are there if you need any select specific files which are there okay so this is done and now i can even uh, create a, you can even report wizard this is most important finally okay so once you stay say there uh, I mean you can give your i mean your agency name or maybe address these are all optional but in reality we generally provide email i can provide my email 
and say now next include all the bookmarks exported files okay and say next see bookmarks b yes graphic thumbnails okay use all the defaults maybe if you want to change any parameter yes you can so but now next this property ca next ensure that both of these are ticked supplementary files if you have any support files or evidence or something and you can create a report in a directory uh, here investigation 001 report so browse accordingly export all files if you want to export or graphic something and say finish so now we want to view the report yes so now the report is ready the report is ready so this is your case information so here you can click this one also uh, i mean it's agency name and the email id address and all these things okay and the file over you so it has scanned it has it is giving the summary of all the investigation report so you can see here there are about 1990 files okay in that three documents i mean spreadsheets graphics images multimedia archives folders etc it has aggregated each and everything okay even the evidence list also is there so fact 16 is the file system uh, okay you can see this evidence is any called tools case log so this is the summary of the case log so all the activities whatever you have done is produced here in this case log html file listing is also there so this is again uh, a brief summary of all uh, okay and the files in the format of html okay and a file listing database okay keep so keep so it has created a database so that also can be kept as an evidence okay so uh, this is selected bookmarks okay if you want if you want this is uh, uh, this is from the browser which we are looking at basically this applicant report this is from the browser so if you want manually once again you can open this files or you can say view report this is export files report wizard view report so our report so this is open okay that's all about this forensic toolkit remember this is very very important for the cyber forensics investigation and hacking people so this kind of report generation is essential especially if you are preparing or if you are a cyber security administrator or even uh, working on a, any uh, case information. Okay. Thank you. Bye.